everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've come back to Ockham, which is near Guildford. I came here about two two years ago. The church was uh, was shut. But a little, little walk around uh, Ockham. This beautiful old church. Hopefully, I say we can get into. It was raining earlier on. I thought it was going to be a bit rainy, but now the sun's come out. It's getting quite warm. Spring's in the air. All's good in the world, I think. Am I bleached out there? Yeah, I am a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's have a little look around uh, the church and uh, a few sh few shots of the little village. It's a bit of a sort of scattered hamlet, but it's quite nice, Ockham. So welcome to All Saints Church in Ockham, just outside the village. Blocked up door. Blocked up door. Got to have that, haven't you? Of course you have. This was built in the 12th century, with lots of extensions um, since then, of course. Magnificent door, this one, look at that. That's quite, quite, quite tall as well. I'm not quite sure how old that will be. 1600s? Unfortunately, it's shut. Okay, it's shut, what can you do? <laughs> well, we can peep in this side and have a quick look through the window. There you go. It's like I'm being in there all along, look at that. Well, these things happen, don't they? When I next to a big manor house. I don't know what association they have with the church itself. This is all modern here. You can tell this is all modern. It'd be nice to have gone in. Quite intrigued with this church, but um, it's not to be. Oh. Getting quite excited about the, the summer and going out exploring, going abroad, finally in September. Um, and thinking of doing some trips um, to the Jurassic Coast and uh, Stratford upon Avon. I like a bit of Shakespeare. So that should be quite interesting. Shame we couldn't get in the church, as is always the way with these places, but what can you do? Hopefully, our next destination it will be open. William of Ockham was allegedly born here in 1287 and he came out with a philosophy or redefined a philosophy called Ockham's Razor which in very simplified terms this means simplify what you're saying simplify things don't overcomplicate things that makes me laugh and when I see some of these YouTube videos of um, the spiritual gurus um, you go on about a 10-15 minute video trying to explain something when literally they could tell you in one sentence because they're making money aren't they um good luck to them but yeah it just made me laugh when people go hey do you want to manifest money and all that kind of stuff or hey do you want to have your great love life follow this video and wait till the end and all that kind of stuff and yeah and um oh basically they could have told you in 20, 20 seconds um yeah we're just by the a3 just outside of uh, Wisley, going down to Guildford. Uh, so that's why there's a lot of humming in the background, as is always on my videos. <laughs> Nearby motorways. Okay, we're going to leave Ockham now and head uh, just over the A3, just past Ripley, and we're going to go to St Mary's Church in Send. Wonder if that will be open.
worry folks, this isn't going to be a very interesting video. It's locked. Very old door though. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks very much guys. Um, They've been worshipping this um, church for over 800 years. It's a very old church and I really like the setting as well. I feel really peaceful here. Um, it's supposed to be a part of a cross there. Um, it's got a lovely... Uh, oh, no, I don't think that's actually that uh, older door. <laughs> it's got lovely views of a river. Um, I'll show you. Talking of old doors, when I was in Old Woking last year, it was a big tick list for me when I found the third oldest door. I walked straight through it, here it is. The original oak door, Norman oak door from 1115 AD. Look at that, that's beautiful. This is the oldest door in Surrey and the third oldest door in England. Wow. Yes, my love of old doors and old medieval doors has really paid off today. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Someone drilling. <laughs> Sometimes I think there's more noise in the countryside than there is in the city. <laughs> nice house over there. Yeah, very nice. There's a little walking trail down here that you can go on. Uh, yeah, it goes all round into the uh, into the field and the heath. Surrey County Council, the path ahead is closed. Okay, have a quick look. Why would a path be closed? A flooding? But that seems like it's just been there for quite a while, so. Okay, two churches closed. So what we're gonna do now is do a loop background we've got a pub lunch at the olive tree which looks rather nice and uh, maybe show you something else on the way we'll still see uh, but thank you St Mary the Virgin Church um, I don't know why they're shut we're out in the sticks well not out in the sticks but it's really off the beaten path but uh, yeah maybe next time So I just wanted to bring you to All Souls Church in Sutton Green, built in 1921 as a memorial for the people who have fallen in the First World War. I saw this on the map, I thought it looks quite intriguing. I mean, I mean I'm not a fan of modern churches, but I thought this had a really sort of special dedication. Um, and it's quite unique, we're right by the road here. Here we are, dedicated to the memory of the men of this district who die serving their country during the Great War, 1914 to 1918. So it's really nice. Just want to stop here before we go down to the pub. Um, just show you around a little bit. I don't think it's going to be open. I don't know where the door is. Oh, it's here. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's lovely. Is that it? Yeah. No, not open. Well, it's been a terrible day for uh, locked churches. So I hope this video has still <laughs> been a little bit entertaining. Um, but yeah, All Souls Church in Sutton Green. So 
we might as well just pop down now to the olive, gr olive tree for lunch. And thank you very much for being closed. Although, funnily enough, although they have turned it round, so it probably doesn't help. Church open today, but it's not facing the rows. So it obviously means closed. Is there one this side that says closed? No, it's just blank. Oh well, on we go. That was a lovely lunch in the olive tree in Sutton Green. Really delicious, I had a steak and owl pie. Lovely, really, really nice. Um, so what we're gonna do now, uh, before we head home, I'm gonna quickly pop into um, a church in Sutton Green itself, uh, Edward the Confessor Church. It probably won't be open, come on, we've got a bit of a, a, a a rhythm going on today about ch uh, closed churches so we'll see how we go but we'll have a little look um it's quite a modern church so don't expect too much mm. but let's have a look let's go So this is the St Edward the Confessor Church, built in 1876, Grade 2 listed, and a part of Sutton Green Estate. The Tudor building of Sutton Green, I'll put in a little photo of that um, now. Very modern church, but hey, what can you do? Not everything could be Norman, not everything could be Saxon. Lovely. Maybe I should name this video the day all the churches were closed. What can you do? What can you do? We'll have a look around the grounds anyway before we go. Well, all the churches we've been to today have been locked. Ockham, Send, Sutton Green and here as well um sorry about that guys nothing i can do about it but it's still been an interesting journey i um, hope you've enjoyed it um get out into the landscape of surrey once again but uh hope you enjoyed the video anyway <laughs> uh, please like subscribe all that's normal stuff we do on youtube and we'll see you hopefully for a more successful time next time see you later <laughs>